Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to continue our discussion in random board exam problem. So this is problem number 24. So this problem, guys, is a past board exam problem, so engineering board exam. So given a triangle whose sides are 24 centimeters, 30 centimeters, and 36 centimeters, find the radius of a circle which is tangent to the shortest and longest side of the triangle and whose center lies on the third side. So first, guys, i drawing lang natin yung figure. So meron tayong circle here. Ang unknown natin is the radius of the circle. And sabi sa problem, yung shortest side is tangent to the circle. So let's say ito yung shortest side niya, 24 centimeters. And then yung longest side niya is also tangent to the circle. Okay, so that is the 36 centimeters. And the third side lies on the center of the circle. And siya. So that is 30 centimeters. So, in order for us to get the radius of the circle, say R, so that is connected to the tangent, to the point of tangency, to the center of the circle, so that yun yung radius natin. If you're going to draw a line here, okay, so that is uh, coming from the intersection of the, or the vertex of the uh, circle, yung shortest and longest side to the center of the circle, we can form a triangle here, as you can see in the figure. And then, kailangan natin makuha yung uh, distance nun, or yung length ng uh, line na yun, yung color blue na line, in order for us to get this R here. So, as you can see, we have formed a right triangle. So, we are going to use a bunch of formulas here, guys, like cosine law, sine law, and yung basic relationship natin or angles and sides of a triangle, yung trigonometry natin. So, in order for us to get the distance D, kailangan natin ng opposite angle niya. Okay, let's say beta. And for us to get that angle beta, kailangan natin makuha yung angle theta here. So, angle theta is the angle between the longest and shortest side. So, in order for us to get that uh, beta, kailangan natin ng theta. In order for us to get theta, so we can use cosine law for that. Since we are given three sides here, yung 24, yung 36, saka yung 30. So, kaya natin mahanap yung theta using the cosine law. And we're going to find the relationship between D and R. So, that's a right triangle. So, kailangan natin ng angle dito. Okay? So, recalling the concept, no, kapag meron tayong uh, tangent lines sa circle, okay, and they have a common point, which is ito, if you connect the center of the circle to that point of intersection, this angle here is just one half of this full angle. So, that's theta over 2. And the, on the other side is also theta over 2. To complete that, uh, angle theta. So, bakit natin kailangan yun? Because we can form a triangle that's relating the distance D, theta over 2, and R here. Okay? So, in order for us to get D, kailangan natin itong angle beta as well as yung angle dito. Okay? So, let's say ito ay angle alpha. Kasi opposite niya si 36. So, kaya natin siyang gamitan na sine law. To get beta, kailangan lang natin mag sine law dito sa buong triangle natin. Okay? So, yung given na triangle. Okay? So, let's do it. So, first, hanapin natin yung angle theta. So, how can you get angle theta here? So, to get angle theta, gamitin lang natin siya ng cosine law. Okay, so recall lang natin yung cosine daw. So, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. Where yung small letters, uh, these are the sides of the triangle. And then yung capital letter is actually the angle. Okay, so kung C dito, this is side C. 
yung capital letter C dito is the angle opposite to C. So, in this case, ang angle opposite is yung theta natin. So, ang opposite side niya is 30. So, siya yung naka-square dito. So, 30 squared equal. So, that is A squared. So, any side, no? So, it's either 24 or 36. So, let's say 24 squared plus 36 squared. So, pwede yung magkapalit yung A and B. Hindi pwede yung mag magkapalit yung C kasi yung C yung opposite uh, side ni angle C. So, minus 2 times 24 times that is 36 cosine theta. Okay, so theta, angle theta using this whole, uh, using this whole triangle. Okay, so to get theta, no, so that is cosine theta is equal to, so ito, transpose natin sa kabila maging 30 squared minus 24 squared minus 36 squared divided by yung coefficient ni cosine theta, which is ito. That is negative 2 times 24 okay, times 36. So, to get angle theta, so theta is just the arc cosine. So, arc cosine of this uh, value here. So, 30 squared minus 24 squared minus 36 squared all over negative 2 times 24 times 30. Six. Okay, so theta is equal to, so solve lang natin guys using our calculator. So in your calculator, make sure that you're in degrees mode. So shift mode lang and degrees number three. And then input lang natin arc cosine, so shift cosine. And then ito, so 30 squared, 30 squared minus 24 squared minus 36 squared. Well, over negative 2 times 24 times 36. Okay, so equals lang natin. So that gives you 55.77 degrees. 0.77 degrees. So therefore, yung angle theta over to here is just equal to 55.77 degrees over so, for your angle theta over 2, no, the angle here, so uh, divide lang natin uh, by 2, so that gives you 27.886. Okay, so let's uh, input that value, no, so 27.886 degrees. So, meron tayong theta over 2, yung distance D na lang. Okay, so let's analyze the figure again. So, to get the distance D, kailangan natin yung opposite angle beta and then yung alpha because we're going to perform sine law here. So, sa sine law, dapat given ka ng two sides and one angle or two angles and one side. So, yun yung rule da. So, here, ang opposite angle ni distance D is beta. So, to get beta, you can actually use sine law or cosine law. So, much easier to use yung Sine law kasi meron na tayong angle theta na given or nahanap natin kanina. So, that's 55.77. So, going back to the sine law, no? so A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. So, basically, that is your sine law in trigonometry. So, here, ang may given na opposite side na may angle is yung 30. So, opposite ng 30 is theta, which is 55.77. So, 30 over sine theta is equal to 24. Yung opposite ni beta, so 24 over sine beta. It's opposite angle. So, here we have 30 over sine theta. Theta is 55.77 degrees equals 24 over sine beta. So, we can solve for beta using your calculator. So, let us simplify the equation. So, sine beta is equal to, that is 24 times sine 55.77 degrees. So, multiply by that expression and divide by 30. So, beta is just equal to arc sine of this value. So, sine 55.77 degrees 
Okay, 24 times 24 over 30. Okay, so let's compute that using our calculator. So our sign, so that is 24 times sign 55.77. Okay, on over 30. Equals, we have beta as 41.41. .41. Okay, so 41.41. .41. So beta is 41.41 .41 degrees. So may beta na tayo guys. No? Beta is already given. So alpha na lang. No? So to get alpha, we all know that beta plus alpha plus theta over 2 here, that's a triangle, is equal to 180. So, that is the fundamental uh, concept uh, in triangles. So, yung sum ng angles, yung three angles, is 180 degrees. So, beta plus alpha plus theta over 2, okay, is 180 degrees. So, therefore, alpha is equal to 180 degrees minus beta minus theta over 2. So, alpha natin is 180 degrees minus beta, which is 41.41 .41 degrees, minus theta over 2, which is 27.886 degrees. So, alpha equals, okay, so alpha can be solved using your calculator. So, 180 minus 41.41 .41 minus 27.886 so if you're going to solve this no you can you can actually shift store these values for you to get a more accurate solution or answers so, equals lang natin so that is uh 110.7 so 110.7 degrees so that's alpha okay so, uh, using this triangle here, ito, this triangle here, okay, we can actually solve D using, again, sine law. So, D over sine beta, yung opposite ni D, so sine beta, is equal to 36, okay? 36 over sine its opposite angle, which is alpha. So, beta is given... Alpha is given, we can solve for the distance. My distance din na tayo, you can use that triangle to solve for the radius. Problem solve. Okay? So, here, solve lang natin ito, no? So, D over sine beta is equal to 36 over sine alpha. So, D is just equal to sine beta times 36 over sine alpha, okay? So, D is just equal to, so, sine beta, which is here, 41.44. Ah, sorry, 41.41 .41 degrees times 36 over, that is sine alpha, which is 110.7. So, sine 110.7 degrees. So, lang natin yung D. So, that is sine 41.41. .41. Okay, times we have 36 over sine 110.7. So, equals we have... 25.46 okay, uh, input 25.46 so that is in centimeters so may tayong value for this 25.46 okay 46 cm and for angle theta over 2 we have this one so using the triangle so let's just redraw the triangle so, right angle, and then this is R. So, this is 25.46 centimeters. This is theta over 2, which is 27.886 degrees. So, you can solve for R using sine. Kasi si R is opposite angle. 
So we have sine 27.886 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is 25.46 centimeters. So R is uh, 25.46 centimeters sine 27.886 degrees. So let's just solve that using your calculator. So we have 25.46 times sine 27.886. We cost down. We have here 11.91. Uh, round of natin. So 11.9 or 11.91 centimeters. So that is the radius of the circle. Okay, so that's it, guys. Now that's how you solve this passport problem. So it's all about analysis. So we're not going calculator technique for this. Sad din ho, but uh, I want you to practice more on your analysis in the problem because uh, it will be very easy for you. It will be uh, easier for you to solve more complex problems if you know the basic. So uh, familiarize the cosine law, sine law, and of course the basic rules in trigonometry. So that's it guys for today's video. I hope that you learned from this and if you're new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll get notified on my future videos. Just like this one to you guys and thank you for watching this video